All right, guys. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking gut issues, mate. They're killer. So today's video is about confidence. And a lot of people struggle with confidence. They think people are thinking things about them that they're not. No one gives a shit about you. All right, no one fucking cares about you. If you're fat, you got saggy tits, you're fucking lazy, you don't have a job or any fucking hobbies, no one gives a fuck about you. The only people that really give a fuck about you are the ones close to you, and even then, they're going through their own shit. When I was a child, I used to, I've always been a fat child, I've always been big, all right, I love my food. Two years ago, I found out I had an eating disorder where I cycle, I emotionally eat to fill myself. And that's been a problem I've battled my whole life. Now, when I was a child, my clothes used to be tight and I used to, I used to pinch my shirt, I used to pinch away at my gut and I'd always be looking down Always be looking down, pinching my shirt. You always, you ever you ever out in public and you see those fat fucks and they they pinch their shirt? It's because they're insecure. It's because they're not confident. It's because they're worried about what you and I think of them. When they go to the beach, they wear a shirt because they are afraid of what people will think of their disgusting fat bodies. When in reality, no one really gives a shit. When you see a grossly obese motherfucker at the beach that looks like a beached whale, you might look at them and think, fuck, that's a fat motherfucker. Then that's it, so be it. No one gives a shit. Maybe you were teased. I was teased as a child. I was bullied in high school. I was bullied for being fat, bullied beyond belief. I used to have to go through the mangroves after high school. I used to have to walk through a swamp to get home in year eight, or else I'd have to fight a bunch of kids down the street. I used to be very self-conscious. And then when I turned 20, 20 or 21, early 20s, I was at a homeless refuge in Melbourne, in St Kilda. And this refuge, you know, it had immigrants, refugees, people from Egypt, Somalia, you know, places in the Middle East, Africa, fleeing war. Muslims, Christians, it had drug addicts, criminals, Abuse victims, transsexuals, homosexuals, lesbians, alphabet gang, had white people, black people. There was no Asians, but, you know, Caucasians, people of different backgrounds and countries. It was a melting pot of diversity at this youth refuge. And while I was there, because we were all close, we were all friends with each other. It was, it was a nice community. And I, befriend, I befriended a transsexual there. Now, mind you, I wasn't as self-conscious or as, um, as low self-esteem as when I was younger. But I would never take my shirt off. Never. When I was younger, when I was 16, I would fuck women with my shirt on. I would literally fuck women with my shirt on. And before I was 16, there was a few times where I had the opportunity to have sex with women. 
but I didn't because I was self-conscious about the size of my cock. So I turned down girlfriends. I turned down sexual encounters at parties and things like that. And I always used to ask my friends, are you really my friend? I couldn't believe it. People would say I'm funny, I couldn't believe it. People say I'm intelligent, I couldn't believe it. People say I'm a nice person, I couldn't believe it. I had no confidence, no self-esteem, and I felt like I was a worthless piece of shit. And right now there are people walking around with that same mindset. But what really was the catalyst for me breaking out of it and finally realizing like, holy shit, the thoughts and feelings in my head are fucking bullshit. They don't exist. They're not really real. It's just probably trauma and silly shit that is not true reality. It was in my early 20s and I had that transsexual friend and we used to walk down, you know, St. Kilda, you know, walk, go to the shops, whatever, go to the beach, you know, go to the city, whatever the case may be. And this person would get absolutely abused. Everywhere we walked, people would walk past us and then go, fucking hell, what the fuck is that? What a fucking weirdo. What a pervert. What a fucking this and that. Hella hate, right? And after a short time of that, I remember thinking to myself, what the fuck? What the fuck do I have to worry about? I haven't, I haven't been fucking bullied since fucking I was 14, 15. <sighs> but I've drunk a while. I haven't copped any of that kind of abuse. This motherfucker's just living their life. This motherfucker's just being themselves. And they're copping all that shit. Like they're deciding to be away. When in reality, they could probably just go back to looking like a bloke. Do you know what I mean? And look, this this friend tried a lot, you know. Did all the, did all the makeup, long hair, all this, this and that. You know, somewhat possible, actually, somewhat possible. They, they tend to put in a lot of effort to be feminine. But I'm thinking, fuck, they're copping all this shit. And they could easily just change back to normal and no one would give a shit. And that's what broke me out of the mindset, the spell is that, well, what right do I have? What kind of bullshit illusion am, am I under to think the way that I think? And after seeing that and experiencing that, I went to the beach with my girlfriend at the time without a shirt on for the first time. And I was a big boy back then. I was 165 kilos. I'm 6'1", 165, you know, big motherfucker, big fucking, look like some big fucking islander cunt, massive, 165 kilos, right, big fat bastard, and I fucking went to the beach with our shirt on, a few people looked, and as you would, I was a big motherfucker, but no one said shit, no one said, oh, look at that fat fuck. Ah, oh, nice tits, big fatty, this and that, rah, rah. And then that day at the beach without the shirt on was the day that I thought, oh, fuck, this is all right. Who doesn't love the breeze on their body? Like, going for a swim without a shirt on feels immeasurably better than wearing a shirt. Because when you go to the beach with a shirt on, you get itchy fucking nipples. Your nipples start stinging because the shirt keeps rubbing against them. It's almost like giving it a carpet burn. 
and the wind on your body, the breeze, how beautiful and relaxing and, and sensual that feels. And you don't get to experience that when you're a fat fuck wearing a shirt. And then after that, after that, I started to realize, wow, man, I can be funny. I, I do make people laugh. And I make people laugh not because I'm a dickhead, but because I have genuine humor. And that always sound intelligent. And I realized, wow, you know, I'm, I'm pretty fucking switched on, you know. I've got a somewhat decent amount of self-awareness. You know, I'm interested in history and science and politics and finance and economics and world events and, you know, you name it. I love to learn things. If I don't know what something is, I want to learn it. I want to know what it is. And so I finally accepted that. And I came to the realization that because I listen to what other people think about me, because I gave a shit what other people think, because I listened to what other people said, when I was younger, I listened to the bullying. I listened to the negativity. I suffered many years for that. And if you're watching this right now and people are telling you that you're worthless and that you're a piece of shit and that you're ugly or you're this and that, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And you know what the crazy part is? Those people are just projecting onto you. You're their victim. You're their target. But really, they're the ones that are insecure. They're the ones with confidence issues. They're the ones with fucked up family and jealousy problems and envy problems and personality flaws. You don't have to listen to those fuckers. And I pray and I pray that you'll reach a point in your life where you can look back and think, fuck yeah, man. It was all bullshit. And the sooner the better. Because the sooner you realize it was all bullshit and they're full of shit, the sooner you can break out of that spell, the sooner you can break free, the sooner you can start living your life and feeling better, feeling more confident and love yourself and suffer less. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that you can go from questioning if people really like you to questioning people's compliments towards you. Hold up, guys. I gotta see my fucking charge. And go from feeling worthless, questioning yourself, feeling ugly, feeling useless, to knowing that you can break free of that. It's, it's shit. It's bullshit. So if you're suffering this right now, just know that you can break out of it. But my phone's gonna die, guys, so I'm gonna end the video. And just remember, you can do anything in life. You just have to start today. And remember, you just start with what you've got. And I promise you, as long as you keep going, you'll get to where you need to be. And you can get where you need tomorrow. Much love, guys, and peace out.